Hello and welcome to the cold start video of the 1994 BMW 840i. Very quickly, so the temperature at the moment, that's just onto the cam cover there, 7.4 degrees and then moving it down to the bodywork we're at 8 7.8 degrees, so it's a nice cold start now. Can you can start the engine please. Couple of revs, please. Give a couple of revs again, please. Hi, I'm Glenn from Trade Classics and today I'm in a 1994 BMW 840. Uh, this is the on the road video, so just very quickly uh, a reminder, we've done the Meet the Owner video. Um, so if you haven't watched that yet, pop across there and get to know the owner and uh, we'll get on with this video. Uh, so we're in uh, beautiful Warwickshire countryside today. Um, We'll just wait at this yeah. junction. So, sort of main roads, isn't it? Main roads, quite smooth, um, but at the same time, quite fast flowing. So, uh, mm. it's probably quite a good good road for this car, really. So, here we are with the owner, Mama, Mamadou. Mamadou, that's right. Uh, well, I'm glad I got that right again. <laughs> um, so, very quickly, so it's the 4 litre V8. Yeah, 4 litre V8. Loads of power. Yeah, um, 286. And as we'll be feeling in the other video, when you put your foot down, you do get a little bit, enough of a V8 growl, don't you? Yeah. And it, it and it picks up and goes. It does. Um, so I'm just watching it now, yeah, and it just pulls. You can feel yourself get pushed pushed into the seat whilst <laughs> it goes along, which is very nice. Um, so yeah, so it goes well, doesn't it? So we've had no problems with starting. No, um, the transmission is fine. It's just very smooth. Yeah, so definitely. auto box, isn't it? Yeah, it's an so auto box. No need to worry about the clutch, and it's got economy. Economy, it's currently yeah. on economy. It's got a sports mode, which yeah. basically just holds the gears, yep. and uh, a snow mode, which lowers the torque for the pedal. That's it, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, so so it goes very well. It, the gearbox is running well. There's not, I can't hear any noises coming from it or at all. It's quite nice in that way. Um, when you when you break, how, how does she go? Yeah, she breaks. She's good. Right. And, I, mean, and, you, I mean, you feel the weight of the car because it's, it's a heavy car. Yeah, but so it breaks very well. It's a big car, yeah. but it breaks well. And there's no pulling on the steering when you do that. No, no, no sort of pulling to the left or right, which is obviously very good. Um, and then the steering itself, whilst we're going along, I can see it's not wobbling or anything. But it's not wobbling. It's, uh, it's yeah. I mean, it's fine. It's solid. It's fairly. It's a dynamic steering, so right. at higher speed, it will feel different than at lower speed. Oh, right. I would say this car feels great on the motorway on the roads like this at yeah. speed. It's a bit tricky to drive on slow roads, but that's my one to decide for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, this, well, this road seems to be quite good yeah. for today. So, so, yeah, so she drives well. Um, obviously, being a 90s car, it is packed yeah. full of technology, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Um, there's electrics for absolutely everything. We've had the windows up and down, beautiful, no B pillar at all. Yeah, exactly. It makes um, it feel like a yeah, I love that. So they go up and down. You say you've, you've changed the batteries? So two batteries? Yeah, the two brand new batteries. Uh, they are 70 amp hour each, so they're yep. chunky batteries. Brilliant. Um, and they just needed to crank the engine, basically. That's it, yeah. And with that, there's all the electrics as well. We've yeah. had the we've had the flip up lights. They come up nicely, and the lights are all coming on and good. Yeah. Um, stereo and everything, all good. Yeah, the stereo works. Uh, I don't have I don't think I have a CD in there, but 
got yeah. a hi-fi. Oh yeah, it's got yeah, because it's got a changer in the boot, which yeah, you can see in the other CD videos. Changer. Yeah. And uh, I mean the hi-fi is very good. I mean it's yeah. a '90s car, so what they wanted back then is everyone was obsessed with hi-fi. And a car right. like this has just got a massive subwoofer. Yeah. Um, I haven't changed anything. They're the original. It's all complete standard. Yeah. yeah and yeah. when you listen to music, you can't hear anything yeah. else inside the car. I can see here we've got climate control, dual, dual zone climate. Yeah, that's right. And that all works yeah. good. Yeah. You can put in for the defrost, yeah. yeah, and all everything's coming on. Super, very nice. And the AC, we'll just leave that on for a minute whilst we're driving along and see if we, we get nice and cool in here because it's actually quite a nice day for, yeah, exactly. for this time of the year. Um, and yeah, we're sort of going along. I can't hear any bumps or creaks or anything like that no. at the moment. The suspension's good. It's been well looked after, and actually, these BMWs they used to have a problem called shimmying, right? Um, which is why the car starts shaking side to side. Uh, this right. one doesn't have that, yeah. Um, which is an important thing to check with these very heavy cars because then they can be hard to find when the front comes from. That's it, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I'm just having a look around, and I can see obviously all the, all the dashboard lights are up and all that sort of stuff um obviously at the moment it's asking for you to put yeah. the time and stuff in yeah. but obviously that's all coming up okay the yeah and there's no missing pixels or anything on the screens um yeah so it's driving nice in the sunroof Does yeah it, it all the looks sunroof fun? opens the only thing is the headliner yeah the headliner which, yeah yeah that's it yeah so it does open. super okay a little roundabout so yeah, so the driver's the driver's pretty much spot on at the moment, yeah. But yeah, um, I love it. It's, I mean, we'll, we'll put, compared we'll to um, compared to modern cars, you can feel that. You know, modern cars is all about the turbo, the torque. Yeah. This is all the torque is at the upper end. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So it takes time to build up that torque. Yeah, and it's very raw. It's, it's very raw compared nowadays. Exactly. It's all refined, isn't it? Where this is. Exactly. Go back to the time when people wanted a little, almost like a grunt to a car. Exactly. Like, yeah. But now it's going on nicely. The, the coolness starts to come through on the yeah. on the sides here now, which is nice. Um, yeah, so everything seems to work well. It drives well. No bumps, no lumps, no no big problems. The dash is working okay. So what I'm just going to quickly do now is I'm just going to flip the camera around. Okay. Um, so people can see what sort of road we're on and. Uh, have a look out the window and see what what the car's doing um, before we finish the video. Right, so there we go. Um, the only thing, uh, the only other thing, really, I want to sort of mention on this video was we spoke about it earlier. Is the MOTs? Yes. So when we look through the MOTs for years and years and years, there was absolutely nothing at all yeah. um, reported by the the sort of the, the inspectors, was it? But then obviously you've then taken it to your one, and he sort of it's almost like he's sort of decided to tear the car <laughs> to pieces, hasn't he? Um, yeah. I mean. Um, I took this car to uh, my local garage that does my normal daily commuters. Yeah. And uh, my guess is, I mean, he's not a classic car garage. He's just yeah. done the standard MOT, and then most of the things he's flagged up are, you know, the things for me is things I'd expect on a car this age. So light yeah. corrosion. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I think it, it's almost one of those things like people see the list on there, and it's almost like they'll get put off straight away before yes. they even look at it, yeah. and. I mean, when I did, I looked at it, I thought, oh my God, what's wrong with this car? <laughs> and then when I started looking through it, um, there's lots of slights, isn't it? Slight yeah. corrosion here, exactly. there, and everywhere. Slight play in this and that. Um, 
with that, I've, I've had a look at the tyres, and the tyres, I mean, ideally could probably need change, you know. Yeah, if, could do a change. If, if you want to sort, because they're, they're, I think, 2007. Legal. They're still legal, yeah. 2007 tyres, so. But they're sort of at the end of their life, really, yeah. aren't they? So yeah. that could do, if you were to do some serious yeah, exactly. mileage in it or whatever, you'd probably want to swap them out straight and like, away. And like you said before, if I were to do, if I were to keep this car, I would just basically get it to a prestige standard and just attach all these enjoy it. Viruses and just drive it but yeah, it doesn't that's it. I mean as a condition for me I'm very happy with the car I have used it um, occasionally as a daily for a yeah. couple, couple of weeks I remember two years ago yeah until I uh, <laughs> spent too much money on fuel yeah <laughs> so what sort, sort of mileage are you getting so get? so uh, in town it's uh, I won't lie it's dreadful yeah I mean <laughs> what do we expect yeah it's probably does 18 it's a big it's, big four litre V8 yeah, yeah. yeah it's two tons as well yeah. Uh, naturally aspirated, but on the motorway because it's got such a low drag coefficient, it's very yeah. aerodynamic. Yeah. It does easily at 80 miles an hour reduce 30 miles to the gallon, which yeah. is not great, but it's pretty good for. But considering the, the size of it, the engine you've got, the power you got, it's you can't really grumble, can exactly. you? But yeah, so yeah, so that quite nicely sort of finishes off this video really um, about the car drives well. Um, pretty much everything I've seen in here works um, and yeah so let's hope the guys have yeah. seen what they need to see uh, to make a decision whether they want to buy this car or not um, and yeah thank you very much for having me today and yeah. let me get, photograph the car and video it and uh, you're very welcome you're thank you very much I will miss this car <laughs> <laughs>